Hello, everyone. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Is it everybody now? Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you, Juan Carlos? Hello, Wendy. Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening, Giovanni. Hello, Carlos Eduardo again. Hello, Hello Edwin. Hi, Alejandra. Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, Jonathan. Hello, Karina. Okay, good I have to Hi, how are you? I'm very good, and you? I'm fine too, thank you. I'm glad to hear that you are good. Okay, now we're gonna start taking the attendance. I was giving some time for everybody to join, but I think we have to start now, okay? So okay. please turn on your cameras and stay present. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodríguez. Present. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present. José Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present, Tisha. Nancy Beto Rivera. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Hello, Ana Cristina. No Welcome. Mencionado. Okay, yes. But I'm, I'm checking you in. Okay, there you are. Uh -huh. Is there anybody else? Anyone else? No, right. Everybody's here. So uh, today we were supposed to start with that activity. Do you remember? Do you remember the activity of that little box that where we were going to say the activities, right? That teacher does and what participants do uh, or have to do as obligations uh, and also as necessities. We're going to leave that activity for later and we're gonna start with a little feedback, okay? Now let me let me go to the um, over the objective for today because it's um, similar as yesterday. Okay, it's similar as yesterday because we are going to continue um, using have to and need to. 
But let me show you this. Okay, here we are. We have our specific objective for today and our class object. As similar as yesterday, let's remember that we are learning to express necessities and obligations. Necessities and obligations. So in this class, we are going to learn how to use have to and need to. Okay, have to and need to. So let's continue with this. Okay. Let's see the agenda for today. The agenda for today is that we are going to do a little feedback about imperatives, about imperatives. And after that, we are going to work in some worksheets and groups, okay? And then we are going to uh, do some written activities and speaking activities. And then we are going to have a little chat. So let's see a little chat. What date is it today? What date is it today? June 3rd. Uh, so, uh, one, one, three, one. Go, go. Uh, <laughs> go. Don't worry. Uh, slowly, but do it. June 3rd? Uh huh. Yes. And to a twelve. Two hundred. Two hundred. No, two thousand. 2021 of December. Yes. Yes. Uh, 2021. Mm -hmm. Okay, 2021. So this is a way to say the date. There are other ways. And today we are going to see that. Okay, today we are going to see how to say the date also. And tomorrow too, we are going to be uh, learning how to say the date. But let's see. Today is June the 3rd of 2021. June 3rd of 2021. This video conference is video conference number nine. Okay. So let's continue. Vamos a hacer un pequeño repasito, pero al mismo tiempo vamos a ampliar un poquito acerca de los imperativos, chicos. Who can tell me what are the imperative sentences? What are the imperative sentences? Can you give me examples? What are the imperative sentences? Can you give me some examples? Mm -hmm. Please send this package. Very good. Please send this package. Good. Mm -hmm. What other? Another example, please. Please repeat that after me. Please repeat after me. Very good. Uh -huh. Pay attention, please. Good. Pay attention, please. Good. Mm -hmm. What other? Sit down, please. Sit down. Excellent. Sit down, please. So, lo que queremos ampliar un poquito el día de ahora es que las oraciones imperativas ya dijimos que son instructions. They are also um, 
invitations, warnings, uh, Who commands, do we need to commands. What do you think? Who, who came in? Oh. Okay, we said that already. But there are some, there are some imperatives that they are only the verb. Okay, for example, if I say smile, okay, smile, okay, smile. Si se fijan, solo es un verbo, okay, no tiene sujeto ni hay un complemento. Solo estoy diciéndoles que hagan la acción. So that's imperative. The, those are commands. ¿Me pueden decir alguno solo con el verbo? Walk. Walk, excellent. Mm -hmm. Stop. Excellent. Top. Mm -hmm. Jump. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Room. Which one? Room. I can I didn't get it. Uh, can you repeat, please? Run. Run. Yes. Run. It's like this. Run. Mm -hmm. Very good. So Sing. there are. Excuse me. Sing. Sing. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dance. Dance. Okay. Go. Excellent. So you see that with the verb, we can say someone to do something. Okay. Just with the verb. Just with the verb. Without a subject, without a complement, only the verb is an imperative. That's one kind of sentence. And it's a complete sentence. Well, yes, because it's implicit that it has uh, who is going to do the action, right? Who is going to do the, the action? The person who is receiving the order, right? The person who is receiving the order. We don't know who, because in the sentence it doesn't say, but if you see, pero si, por ejemplo, ustedes van caminando y miran un rótulo y dice smile, no se han fijado que casi siempre cuando leemos ese rótulo uno sonríe automáticamente. No se han fijado. <ríe> y no le están diciendo a usted, pero es como un, un command que ya está puesto ahí, ¿verdad? Un command que ya está puesto y, y como que automáticamente lo obedecemos. Smile. Ok. Eso se usa también. Hey, sonría porque lo estamos grabando, ¿verdad? Se han fijado. Smile. We are cutting the a video, right? Uh, so we are recording a video. Listen, you are being recorded, right? Okay. Now, can you please, can you please read the first five, the first five sentences here? Just let me erase this. The first five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Can you please read them? Me. Okay. Okay. That's the salt. Mm -hmm. Move out of my way. Okay. Shut the front door. Mm -hmm. Find my little jacket. Okay. Thank Be you. Five. Thank you very much. Very good. Now, the other five. Who wants to read them? One, two, three, four, and five. From clean to get out. Who wants to read it? 
teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Uh, clean your room, complete this by tomorrow. Consider the red dress, why for me? Get out. Okay. This word is complete. 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 Yes. complete. complete. Okay. This by this. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Complete this by tomorrow. Okay, good. Now, the next five. Who wants to read them? Giovanni? Yes, go ahead. Make sure I get up. Make sure your pipe were closed. This send me the files. File. Please, file. Please be quiet. Mm -hmm. Be nice to your friends. You play ball. Okay, thank you. Now these other five. Who wants to read them? Everybody, turn on your mic. I'm going to sleep for. Uh -huh. Work on the staff. Okay. Supervise the employees. Write tools. Earphones. Okay. Bring your earphones. Bring. Bring, bring, bring your earphones. Your earphones. In fact, watch the videos. Watch, watch, watch the videos. Excellent. Now, the last. The me. Okay, go ahead. Sing the song. Mm -hmm. Repeat after me. Mm -hmm. Music. Maestro, practice your piano lesson. Piano lesson. Piano lesson. lesson. Uh -huh. Okay, practice your piano lesson. Do your homework. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Now, this is just to remember some of the vocabulary with the imperative sentences. But what if this, the imperative or the order or the command that you want to give is negative? Ah, then we are going to see something different because we are going to use don't. Let's remember that don't at the beginning of the sentence okay like this do you remember don't wait for me the, the affirmative is wait for me please okay but the negative not to wait right so don't wait for me don't that's the figure that we are going to use so if for the negative, we use don't, then the second. Can you tell me how can we say not to call customers? Do you follow? Don't call customers. Okay. Don't call customers. Good. And what about this one? Don't bring your problem to the office. Okay, excellent. Don't bring your problems to the office. Don't bring your problems to the office. Okay. What about next one? Let's make it negative. Let's make it negative. Don't reply. Okay. Don't reply that email, please. Don't reply that email, please. And the last one. Don't shut the front door. Don't shut the front Don't door. Shut. Mm -hmm. We could say close here, right? Don't close. 
the front door and it will be the same meaning here. Okay, so we can use don't at the beginning, but there is another word that we can use when it is negative. Can you read the first sentence as an example? Uh, Juan Carlos, please. Never calls customer. Oh, thank you. So you already did this exercise. Never call customers. Okay. Never wait for me. Oh my God, these people is uh, mean. They are breaking up, right? Never wait for me. Go away, <laughs> right? Never yes, wait for me. Ya nunca me esperes. Like in, like um, in, in a drama, right? Like in a drama. <laughs> never wait for me. Now let's see. Never call customers. Next one. Who wants to read it? Never. Never? Bring your problems to the office. Okay. Never bring your problems to the office. Okay. It's saying not to bring. Okay. Not to bring your problems. Let's see. Next one. Never answer the phone. Thank you. And next one. Never shut the front door. Okay. Then we have negative imperative sentences. When we are asking the other person not to do something. Okay. Not to do something. Now, if this is like this, Solo hagamos un pequeño repasito de las preguntas que estábamos haciendo ayer. Cuando queremos mmm, decirle a alguien que haga algo, ¿ok? Decirle a alguien que haga algo por nosotros. What do you see in the picture? What do you see in this picture? What do you see in the picture? Colleagues. Okay, colleagues. What, mm, what is that? Uh, where are they? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's think. What are they doing? Ah, they are in a meeting, right? Is this a meeting? What do you think? Meeting. Okay, they are having a meeting. So, let's see the first question. Esto es para recordar la pregunta que está en su manual, okay? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? ¿Qué está preguntando acá? Imaginemos que este señor... This man is the boss, and this woman is asking to the boss, what do you want me to do? Yes, correct. So look at the structure. What do you want me? Okay. Why do you want me? No vamos a decir I, ¿verdad? Vamos a decir me. What do you want me to do? ¿Qué quiere que yo haga? Okay. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Everybody, please say this sentence. What do you want me to do? Okay. Again. What do you want me to do? Okay. What could be an answer? Ah, the complete answer is. I want you to work on the stats, please. I want you to work on the stats, please. Trabaje en las estadísticas. Siempre está dando una orden, siempre es un command, pero le está diciendo, yo quiero que usted, ¿ok? 
I want you to. If you see, I want you to. And then we say the action. Okay? ¿Estamos correctos hasta ahí? Ahorita solo estamos recordando. Acuérdense que en el manual eh, ayer lo contestamos y pusimos needs. ¿Se recuerdan? ¿Por qué pusimos needs? Ah, porque estábamos preguntando acerca del jefe de Carla, ¿verdad? O del jefe de Carlos. Then Carlos boss and Carlos boss. So, let's read the question. Then the second question. Le vamos a preguntar a ella, por ejemplo. What does your boss want you to do? Everybody, please read this question. What does, what, does, what does your boss want you to do? Okay, what does your boss want you to do? Everybody, please read the sent the question. What does your boss want you to do? Okay, so what, what does, does, does your boss want you to do? And then What is the answer? The complete answer is your boss wants you to write a report. Your boss your wants boss you wants to write a report. Okay? Yeah. Everybody, please read the complete answer. Your boss wants you to write a report. Your boss your wants boss you to write the report. You to write the report. Your boss wants you to write the report. Excellent. Do you have any question so far? Hasta aquí hay alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? Yo tengo una pregunta, pero quizás me quedó desde ayer. ¿Por qué usamos HAP? Y en otras utilizamos want. Oh, okay. Este es de want, todavía es del tema anterior. Ok. Have to and need to son para expresar obligación con have to y need to para necessities. Para necessities. Cuando utilizamos want, estamos diciendo quiero. Ok. Quiero. Muy diferente a una obligación o a una necesidad, ¿verdad? Es más como un deseo de, ¿verdad? Thank you. Ok. Any other question? No questions. Okay, let's go to the activity in the manual. I think it was in page 27. Now, let me confirm because I think, yes, page 27. And we said that we were going to change a little the activity. How was going to, ha, ha, I'm sorry, how uh, were we going to change it? Uh, we were going to write the activities that the teacher needs or have to, right? Needs to do or have to do for this class. And in this column, we are going to write the activities that, per that the participants have to do or need to do, okay? So here is third person and here is plural, okay? They or we, it's okay. Now, let's start. Let's start. Okay, let's see. Teacher, I'm going to say the first one as an example, and then you give me the ideas, okay? Teacher has to uh, prepare the material. 
Okay. Correct. What do you think the teacher has to do for this class? Mm -hmm. Teacher has two indication in the class. Teacher has two indication. Indicate. Indication. Okay, has to indicate or uh, Ah, okay, uh, then. Student. Okay, to give indications. En este caso, bueno, en inglés, cuando decimos indications, usualmente se refiere a cómo llegar a algún lugar. Más o menos por ahí sería el significado. Uh, okay. En todo caso, en este trabajo sería instructions. Ok, give instructions. of activities to students. See? Yes. Okay. Number three. Teacher needs to chart the class. Teacher needs? To chart the class. To charge? The class. Like this? Uh, bueno, aquí se pone la profesora necesita compartir la clase. Oh, share. Sure. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh -huh. Share. Needs to share. Uh -huh. The link. Is it okay? Okay. Share the class link. Vamos a poner aquí. The class link. Ajá. Uh -huh. Another thing? Mm -hmm. The teacher. teacher has to teach the topic of today. Okay. Today's top. Vamos a ponerlo así más, más bonito. Estaba bien como lo dijo, pero lo vamos a reducir para que se oiga más fluido. Sería has to teach. Today's topic. Ok. Topic. Y le vamos a agregar and objectives. Right? Correct. Now let's think about the participants. What do you have to do in this class? Participant has to turn on the camera. Okay, remember, remember plural. Participants, uh huh. Have. Have, excellent. Have to turn on the camera. Yeah. Ok. Eso fue lo que me dijo, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Number two. What other activity? Participants. Ajá. Uh -huh. Have to... Follow instruction. Excellent. To follow the instruction. 
Le vamos a poner así, miren, to follow teacher's instruction. Ok. Instruction. Another activity. What else do you have to do or do you need to do uh, for this class? Aha! <laughs> Got you. Who wants to read it? Participants have to do homework every day. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. Who wants to give me another? Let's see, Jonathan. I don't have anything, teacher. <laughs> think, think, think about one. No. What do you have to do to connect? What do you have to do to connect to Zoom? No se me ocurre ninguna ahorita. <laughs> okay, who wants to help Jonathan? Participant needs to pay attention. Good. Very good. Now we have four and four in, in both columns. So I think we are okay, right? How do you say conectarse? Connect. Connect. Yes. So the participants new connect the A apps thing. Okay. Well, the participants need or have to need. Uh -huh. have, have, have to. Have to, okay. To connect the A at thing. At eight o'clock. Ah, okay. Participants have to connect from 8 to 10 p.m. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay, there we are. Do you see need and need to and have to? Need to and have to. Now let's go to the manual. Everybody to the manual. Let me erase it. Okay, now I need, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> the, this, oh, okay. The sharing area was not complete. So now, yes. Now, I want you to, sh I'm going to say one of your, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm going to say one name and you are going to say one activity you have to do, okay? You have to do as an obligation, not need, but have, okay? Now, let's see. Teacher, mm -hmm. I have a question. What is Tell me. interview? What did you say, interview? Yeah. Interview, entrevista. 
ओके थैंक यू ओके नाउ लेट्स सी शेयर द एक्टिविटीज यू हैव विद योर क्लासमेट्स with the or the whole class well in this case we are going to say the activities that we wrote before if you want or you can add some more or you can use any other of your own okay ustedes pueden decir una actividad que ustedes realizan diariamente o las que ya tenemos en el vocabulario la cuestión es utilizar el vocabulario so now i'm going to say your name okay let's remember to use i have to or I need to. Okay. Now let's see. Juan Carlos. I have to uh, write reports. Okay. Maria Elena. I have to check emails on Mondays. Okay. Next, Kevin. I have the inventories. I have. The, uh -huh. uh, what about the inventories? Do you have to, Do you have to check it, or do you have to organize, or what do you have to do with the inventory? Um, what should I realize? Uh, was... Do, do. Ah, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I, I do. Mm -hmm. Inventories and okay. And Friday, Friday. On Fridays. Okay. On Friday. Okay. Let Let's see, Anna Cristina. I have to report in the morning. Okay, I have to report. Report. Yes, report. Okay, but what do you do with that report? Is a written report or a spoken report? Mm, right. Okay. Written. Report. Okay, so you write the report and turn in the report, or what do you do with that report? Write the report uh, for email. Oh, okay, then you can say, I have to write the report and send it. Okay, I have I, to, re to I have write to the report, report and send I it. I have to report and send it. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Now let's see Nancy. I I do create report on Thursday. Okay. Crew report. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, good. So now let's see Ana del Carmen. I have to call the clients every day. Okay. Uh, Astrid. I have review and uh, homework every day. Reviso tarea diaria. Okay. Then, ahí podemos usar dos verbos. Podemos usar check. Y podemos usar corregir, ¿ok? Podemos usar check or correct, ¿ok? Check or correct. Then we are going to say, I have to check homework, ¿ok? Or I have to check students' homework. ¿Ok? Let's say it, Astrid. I have to check a student's I homework. I have to check a student's homework. Very good. Edwin. I uh, attend new employees. Okay, I have to. I have to attend new employees. Okay, attend. A qué se refiere cuando dice attend? 
Oh, uh, uh, interview. Oh. Ok, oh, porque oh, attend, attend lo que significa atender. es llegar a algún lugar o asistir a algún lugar. Eso significa mm. attend en inglés, en inglés, no es como en español que attend nosotros decimos atender, ¿verdad? Atender mm. sería assist, assist. 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 Ah, assist new, assist new employees, new podría decir. Assist. Pero si a usted le toca entrevistarlos, pero si a usted le toca entrevistarlos, entonces puede decir, I have to interview new or potential employees, right? New potential employees. Or I'll, I make this count the employee. I may? This count. Tú despides. No, descuento. Ah. Oh, discounts. Discount. Discounts. Oh, okay. Yes. Discounts. I was going to say, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, because usually it's not a very grateful um, uh, job position, right? To say bye to, to your co workers. <laughs> yeah, it's not uh, pleasant. Okay, let's see. Um, you could say, I calculate, I calculate the discounts. Or I apply discounts, okay? I apply the, the employee's discount, something like that. Mm -hmm. Puede usar aplico, puede usar calculo, okay? Uh, ¿Cuál se asemeja más a lo que usted hace? Realizo. Realizo, I make. I, I make. make. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I make. Discounts. Discount. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think uh, nobody likes you so much there, right? <laughs> Como que ha sido muy apreciado Don Edwin en su trabajo, right? <laughs> Caigo mal. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then let's see. Wendy. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Entonces, Edwin, ¿cómo quedaría su actividad? I make discount. Okay, to employees. To employees. Okay, I make discounts to employees. Very good. Wendy, uh, I'm sorry, but you have, perdón, Wendy. Edwin, remember, I have to, okay? I have, I have to, to, because it's an obligation. <clears throat> I, have I have to, to make discounts to employees, okay? I have to. Yes. Okay, now let's see, Wendy. <laughs> I have to check marks in the week. Okay, I have to check. I didn't get it. If it was marks or what? what marks, las marcaciones. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Then you could say the marking, the marking. Uh, let's see. Let me check that. Porque puede ser the scores or something like that, but in this case, I think. Pero las marcaciones de los empleados. Sí. Let me, let me Google this. Just to have an idea, because I have an idea, a different one. Uh -huh, yes, that's what I say, marking, right? Marking. So you have to say, I have to check the employee's marking. Okay, the employee's marking. I have to check uh -huh. employee's markings. Markings, yes. In the week. Yes, you could say, or weekly, right? Or during the week. Mm -hmm. Okay, weekly. Yes, weekly. Mm -hmm. Entonces, veamos con Wendy cómo podría quedar esta oración. A ver, ayúdenme a armarla. Ayúdenme a armarla, chicos. Tendría que ser, I have to check. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hey, help me, guys. The employees. Mm, markings. 
Wiggly markings, okay? Wiggly, Wiggly markings. markings. Uh -huh. Wiggly markings. Okay, there you go. Uh -huh. Now, let's see. Karina. I have to make bank transfers. Very good. Excellent. Now, let's see, Giovanni. I have to call clients. Okay, good. Let's see, Omar. Subject. Uh, so, teacher, uh, I have to. I have to do uh, my work route. Um, sometimes I, I, I have to pay a bill uh, at bank. Uh, okay. Or I have, uh, I sometimes I have to write checks uh, from my co-worker. Okay, good. But you did a good job answering this, okay, structuring. And it is okay. It is okay. So now let's see uh, who's missing. I think Alejandra is not okay. So we are not going to ask Alejandra tonight. Let's see. Okay, those were obligations, obligations. I have to, you have to. Do you remember what your classmates say? Do you remember what you, your classmates say? ¿Se acuerdan de lo que dijeron sus compañeros? Ha, <laughs> ha, got you. So, so. Got you, guys. Okay, vamos a intentarlo, okay? Vamos a intentarlo. Okay. Vamos a armar la pregunta. Vamos a armar todos la pregunta que vamos a hacer. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta si queremos saber qué, qué obligación o qué tiene que hacer Astrid, por ejemplo? ¿Qué tiene que hacer Astrid? Ajá. ¿Cómo preguntamos eso? Help me. What? What, What do, do you have to do? That? Okay, what do you have to do if you ask directly to Astrid, right? Pero como what do one? Es tercera persona, ajá. Uh -huh. What does... What does... Do you... What does... Astrid, you, what does Astrid, Astrid is the subject, ajá. Uh -huh. What does Astrid have to do? Correct, Karina. Excellent. So... Para la pregunta en tercera persona, vamos a decir, siempre decimos, what do you have to do? Porque es lo más común que hablemos de persona a persona, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso vamos a preguntar lo que hace otra persona, una tercera persona, ¿verdad? Entonces utilizamos, what does Astrid have? Porque ya does hace la tercera persona, ¿verdad? Ya no decimos has, decimos have to do, have to do. A ver, díganme, activen su audio, active, active your audio and say the question. What does Astrid have to do? What does Astrid have to do? What does Astrid have to do? Excellent. So, ahora le vamos a preguntar, a ver, le vamos a preguntar. Ah, una secuencia yo. A ver, ¿a quién, ¿a quién quiere que le pregunte? Por lo menos de 50. Who wants to say me, teacher? Voy a volver a iniciar. Only one, only one, please. Hey, hey, come on, hey, calm down. Only one. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ajá, let's see, let's see. Okay, we are going to ask... Okay, Ana del Carmen, Ana del Carmen. Everybody, let's ask the question. What does Astrid, Astrid have to do? What does Astrid have to do? Everybody, saying what the question. What does Astrid have to do? What does Astrid have to do? What does Astrid have to do? Okay, Ana. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sorry. no problem, no problem. You have to, to answer the question. Tiene que responder la pregunta que todos sus compañeros le hicieron. Okay. 
Queremos saber qué es lo que hace Astrid. Así que tiene que recordar qué fue lo que ella dijo. ¿Ok? Don't you remember? No, no, no remember. Ok, Astrid, what do you do, Astrid? Acuerdan? Sí, ah, ah, wait, wait, Astrid. ¿Alguien recuerda uh, qué dijo Astrid? Yes. Uh, I think she has to check the... She has to check the homework. She has, yes. Ok. Ah, very good. Hey, clap. Clap, everyone. Only Maria Elena remember that. Yay. Good, good. So, let's see. Let's see. Um, again, Ana del Carmen. Everybody, let's ask the question. Ana, what does... Everybody, everybody. What does... Astrid have to do? Astrid has... To do. Do. Have to do. Okay, let's see, Ana. Astrid. Astrid has to. Has to check. Check. The students' homework. The students' homework. Homework. Okay. Astri has to check student homework. Excellent. There you are. So now we are going to think about what does. Hey, Carlos Eduardo, did you say what? What do you do? ¿Verdad que Carlos no dijo qué hacía? No, no way. So I have to study late again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Carlos. Now, let's see. Let's see then. A ver, usted tiene que decirme una oración de alguna actividad que usted tiene que hacer. Ahora voy a hacer una secuencia de 30. Pero, sí. I have to work late. Así. Every day or? Today. Sí. Ok, cambiemos un poquito, Carlos Eduardo, a una actividad que usted tiene que hacer en su trabajo. I have to answer a lot of emails. Ah, very good. Recuerden que cuando respondemos un email no es answer el verbo correcto. El verbo correcto sería reply. Reply a lot of emails. Okay. Cuando enviamos la respuesta, eh, les recomiendo algo bien importante. Ustedes pueden cambiar el lenguaje o el idioma de su cuenta de Google y, o de su cuenta donde ustedes tienen el, el email para que vayan aprendiendo las, la, los verbos técnicos o las actividades técnicas que se hacen con el email. ¿Ok? Y ahí van a encontrar ustedes la flechita que regresa. Se llama reply. ¿Ok? Porque el verbo correcto para responder un email es reply. ¿Ok? So, y ahora ya sabemos qué hace Carlos. ¿Se acuerdan de lo que hacen todos? La otra que no está ahí. Mm -hmm. All right. Ok. Uh, let's try. Let's give a try. Let's give a try. I'm going to ask, what do you do, Kevin? Uh, I, I remember what Kevin does. I remember what Kevin. Do you remember what Kevin does? No? no, no, I don't I, remember nothing. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I remember the Omar. I think he say he has to shift their co worker. Omar, uh, no, he has no? to, no, he has no, to go to I, the bank. Uh huh. Oh. Oh, I have, mm -hmm. I have to, to write checks uh, from my co-workers. And... Yeah. Check their co-worker. Uh -huh. Okay. Something a little. <laughs> co -working. Okay, and he has to do a lot of errands, I remember, right? Like yeah. errands, okay. 
Okay, then okay. let's see. Everybody, let's think about what. Ah, Jonathan didn't say, right? Jonathan didn't say. Uh -huh. Me había salvado. <laughs> what do you have to do? What do you have to do? I have to complete the task. Task. To, task. Yeah, to complete the task. Yeah. Okay, let's say we are going to accept that even though it doesn't <laughs> say too much. O sea, no nos explica mucho. Okay. But yeah, okay, we can accept it because it is correct grammarly. Okay, está correcto gramaticalmente, but it doesn't say too much. Okay, now let's say, yo les voy a hacer esta pregunta y a ver quién la contesta. Okay. What does Juan Carlos have to do? What does Juan Carlos have to do? Do you remember? I forget. You forgot? Okay. Three. Let's see. Don't you remember? Try, try, everybody. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. He has to reply the name. Juan Carlos. What do you he think, is, guys? Uh, he is accountable. Uh, he is a... Él es contador, güey. <laughs> an accountant. An accountant. Okay, he's an accountant. Okay, that's a very good answer. Now, let's see. What do, do you have to do, Juan Carlos? Tell us. I have to write a report. I Oh, you see? The balances, right? The balances. Uh-huh. Okay, what else do you do? Uh, I say, what else do you do? But it is okay. Now, let's see, everybody, what does Juan Carlos have to do? He has, he has, everybody? Juan Carlos has to write the report. Okay, thank you very much, Carlos Eduardo. There, there you see. So, what does Anne Cristina have to do? Do you remember? Check in the in report. Um, um, Check this at the email. Oh God, I, I forgot at this moment. I, I had it here, but I, no, I don't I don't remember. Do you remember? Who remembers? Revista reportes y los mandamos. Excellent, Wendy. So you gotta say. She has to. She has do to check to write to write uh -huh. report and and save email. Okay, good, very good. Everybody clap, Wendy! Yay, Wendy! Yay, you did it okay. Very good. So now let's see. We have to take the attendance at this moment. So please, everybody, uh, remain where you are. Please don't turn off your camera. Please turn it on. Those who doesn't have the camera on. So let's see. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, there you are. Alexis Antonio Sandoval. Morales. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. 
Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present. José Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Yvette Tobar Present Rivera. Teacher. Thank you, María Elena. Nancy Yvette. Present teacher. Okay. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present teacher. Okay, Karina was here too. There you go. Carla Verónica is here too. Okay, okay estoy en Omar. Luego, uh, Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Auri Elena Segovia Rugama. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Ok. Well, I sent a worksheet on the WhatsApp chat. Está un poco borrosa, pero eh, se, se alcanza a ver. Es acerca de actividades en la casa. Okay? Son pocas actividades en un cuadrito. Solo vamos a hacer la actividad B y la actividad C. Activity B and activity C. What do we have to do? We have to write the correct form of the verb. If it is have to or if it is has to. Okay? Everybody. Please, first of all, we are going to check in. Uh, we are going to see the box with the activities and the person who is responsible of doing that activity. Okay. Todos la tienen. Sí. Yes. Okay. So this, um, Okay. Vamos a hacer grupos de cuatro y creo que quedaría uno de cinco. Ok. Please use your vocabulary. Use your vocabulary. There you go. María Elena. Are you there? Carla Verónica. María Elena, do you have a problem?
Ahí está. Chair. Ajá, hello. María Elena está, está asignada a este grupo, pero creo que está teniendo problemas. Al ratito va a aparecer por aquí. Uh, el que vamos a desarrollar es el, el literal C, ¿verdad? B no, y C. El, uh, B. Exactly. B and C. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. B and C. Complete the sentences and why the correct from of how to. I'm going to help here. Complete the sentence with the correct form. Uh -huh. Have to, no form have to. Mm -hmm. Ethan and Isaac have to, but. I don't know, clean the house. Uh, not exactly. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Cualquiera del cuadro hay que poner, teacher, o cómo, o no. utilizando esas tareas. No. Es, no. Está el Check who is the responsible to do what they have to do. Yes. Ah, it says, mami, clean the house. Mami. Who is the responsible? Mami. Ethan is not responsible for cleaning the house, right? So, who, clean, who cleans the house? It will Chloe be and Lily. Chloe and Lily, right? Yeah. So, let's see. Ethan and is Isaac. Uh-huh. Um, wash the, the dishes or what is this? Dishes. Dishes. This is what wash the dishes. Wash or the do, dishes. Or, or do the laundry. Okay. Mm -mm. No sé, cualquiera pueden hacer todas las tareas, Ethan. tanto ellos como ella. No, por, no, 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 because in, in the timetable that you have there, tiene las actividades ah, y los responsables. Uh -huh. Ethan and in, in Isaac. Uh -huh. sí. Ethan and Isaac. Don't, don't clean, clean the house. house. But, but Chuck and, and Lily, Lily have to clean, clean the house. Clean the house, correct. De la otra vez. Y tan. Cook, don't cook dinner. Don't have to. Creo que sería. No. Don't, don't cook dinner. But Isaac. Have, have to. Cook dinner. Okay, first of all, check the activities and check who is the responsible to do it. For example, clean the house, Chloe and Lily, right? Wash the dishes, Ethan. Do the laundry, nobody, right? Nobody, no one, right? The cook dinner, Isaac. Isaac, uh huh. And who water the plants? Um, no. Nobody. Nobody. Okay. Entonces, la number two is Ethan mm -hmm. wash the dishes. Mm -hmm. But it, Isaac or Isaac mm -hmm. cook dinner. Okay, remember have to and has to. Okay, if it is one person, you okay. have to say have to. Uh, I'm sorry, has to. If eh. it is plural, you have to say have to. Ethan has to the wash the dishes. Has but to wash. Has have. to wash the dishes. Ethan has to wash the dishes. But Isaac, mm -hmm. has to uh, has to cook dinner. Okay, now but, you get it. But Isaac, mm -hmm. 
has has, has to cook dinner. Okay, I'm going to uh, go to another room, guys. So continue. You are doing a good job. Now you get it. So let's meet us later. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, you have a box there. Tienen un cuadrito en la actividad where you have the activities in one column and the other in the, in the line, it says na the name of who is going to do that, who has to do what, okay? For example, you have clean the house. Do you see there? Clean the house. Who has to clean the house? Who has to clean the house? Chloe? And Lily. and Lily. Okay, then Lily. So they have, they have to clean the house. Now let's see, uh, wash the dishes. Who washes the dishes? Ethan. 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 Okay. Ethan. Ethan. Who does laundry? Who, who does the laundry? Who has to do the laundry? Good. Well, it says nobody there, right? Mm -hmm. Who cooked dinner? Who cooked dinner? Yeah. Who, who cooks dinner? Yes, Isaac. Isaac. Mm -hmm. What are they plan? Mm -hmm. oh. Ok, la instrucción que está arriba o la explicación que está arriba, ¿ya la leyeron? Who is giving the instruction? ¿Quién está dando la, la o quién hizo esa tablita? The mother, right? The mother. The mother. Uh -huh. Entonces, en los vacíos que están ahí, ¿quién hace esa actividad? En quien no, ha, donde no hay nombre, will be the mother. mother. Ok. Mm -hmm. There you are. So now let's go to the first. Y ahora completemos. Completemos las oraciones. Let's complete the sentences. Ana del Carmen, are you there? Omar Alfredo, are you there? Estaban teniendo problemas eh, también María Elena. Eh, se desconectaron. Eh, Omar también, creo. Omar, are you there? No. Okay, there you are. No, teacher. I'm here. Oh, okay. I hear teacher. Hear teacher. Oh, okay. Hear teacher. Okay, then let's complete the sentences. And the activity. Uh, Ethan, Ethan, Ethan is in his app. Uh -huh. um, Have or has to. Have or has to? Have to. Have, 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 uh -huh. have to. Have to. Correct. Uh -huh. Have to activities. No, no, no. Complete, have to. Complete have. Have or has. Complete. Yes. The yes. question. You ha yes. Uh, you have yeah. to uh, add. Okay. Uh -huh. Only. Por eso dice, siempre que lee la instrucción, ahí está la instrucción and says, complete the sentences with the correct form of have, have to, ya sea para la tercera persona o para los plurales o para una persona, ¿ok? Singular mm, okay. y plural, acuérdense. Singular, he, she, it, has to. Plural, uh, uh, sería have, you, have. we, they, have to. Have, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Haves, it, she, he. Has to. Has to. Ah, okay. Has to. Only complete has to or has to. Exactly, but with the activity, for example, Ethan and Isaac. Uh huh. Have, have to. Have to what? What is the activity they have to do? What do they have to do? Wash the fishes. Uh -huh. 
Ethan and Isaac? Watch the teacher, Ethan. Mm -hmm. Cook dinner. No. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe Ethan and Isaac have to wash the dishes. But Ethan and Isaac uh, have to do different activities. They don't do the same activity. No. Different activities. Uh -huh, different activities. Pero, but Clyde and Lily have to clean to house the house. Excuse me. But Chloe and Lily have to clean the house. Correct. Mm -hmm. Pero, ¿dónde están? And Isaac have to wash the dishes. Mm -hmm. And para, para decir la actividad de Isaac, como decir, and cook and dinner. Like that, yeah. like that. As you said at, at this moment, if, uh, okay, this is if you were saying the two different activities, but what you can say is the negative form, okay? The negative form. Como sería la forma negativa? Don't have to. <coughs> no, porque es plural. Tendría que ser don't have don't, to, ¿verdad? Don't, don't. Correcto. In the first, uh, Ethan and Isaac have different activities. And the number but four. But show in first, what, one, no, no understand. Uh, okay, and number one, and number one, in you number use one? the negative, you use the negative form, ah, okay. right? And, and, the, Ethan, and the number two, you say what do they have to do? Okay. Ethan, uh, in number one, uh, Ethan and Isaac don't 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 have. And elsewhere. Again. La respuesta sería Ethan and Isaac don't have. Sí, podríamos utilizar don't have, o sea, una forma negativa, o podríamos usar en la forma positiva diciendo las dos actividades. Eso fue lo que ah, quise decir desde okay. el principio. Oh, ok, ok, ok. No, 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 Ok, me pasa español para que quedemos en, en sí, sintonía sí, sí. y podamos yes. realizarlo, yeah. ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ok, there you are. Okay. Now you okay. get it? Hay dos maneras de responder eso o de a, a, completar eso. ¿Cómo? Con la forma negativa que aún no la hemos desarrollado prácticamente en la clase, aunque ya lo vimos en, al principio de la unidad 1, ¿verdad? El negativo del presente simple. Sí. Solo que en este caso estamos hablando de obligación, ¿ok? Y es la misma regla, don't and doesn't, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh... Entonces sería Ethan en Isaac uh -huh. have different activities. No, tendría que ser Ethan and Isaac wash the dishes and cook dinner. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Tenemos que decir las dos actividades. Las Eso dos, sería oh, una ok. Manera. Ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y luego the shows and Lily y ponemos... But que Chloe hace. and Lily... Clean the house. Clean the house. Okay. okay. There you are. Uh, oh. Ethan have to cook dinner. They don't have to wash. Exactly. Have. 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 Ethan, 
and Isaac have to wash the dishes oh, well. and cook dinner. Mm -hmm. But yes. Joyce and Lily did it mm -hmm. Clean the house. Clean the mm -hmm. house. In the house. Was. In the future, yeah. eating, Ethan and Isaac don't have to. No, porque la vamos a contestar en, en filmativo. A washing en diferentes different activities. Uh -huh. Is um, have to wash the dishes. Uh -huh. Wish in in food diner. In is a food diner. Cook dinner. Cook dinner. Mm -hmm. We have to. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hey, uh, you call Hello. me. Yes, help me, help me. we have a question. Okay, <laughs> tell me uh, about the uh, the beach. Okay. Um, we don't know if is is correct. Uh, for example, the first sentence: okay. Iran and Isaac doesn't the clean the house, but Chloe and Lily have to. Okay. Uh, remember that you were talking about two people, Ethan and Isaac have two, right? Or don't, uh, don't. have two. Don't. Mm -hmm. don't. Oh, how don't? Mm -hmm. Don't have to. If we don't talk about to. one person, then it is doesn't have to, okay? Or has to. Okay. Correct. <laughs> es que lo habíamos hecho de otra manera y hasta que ahorita vimos que tenía que ser con el cuadro de arriba. Oh, Entonces, okay. Y um, other question mm -hmm. about the letter C. Uh, yes, the letter C. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I think uh, nobody. Uh, I don't know how to. <laughs> I would say water in the plants thing oh, like okay. that. I don't remember. Nobody, but did you read uh -huh. the the instruction in the beginning? Eh, ya leyeron la instrucción al principio. Um, ¿Quién sí. está haciendo el horario? Who is, who is the uh, making the schedule? Who is organizing the schedule? The mother. The mother, uh, okay. The then mother. in the spaces uh -huh. in blank is the mother that responsible to do it. Uh, okay. 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 Thank you. There you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to leave the room. You continue working because I was in another and I just click on your call. And I didn't say bye over there. We bye, were talking bye. about something. Okay. okay? Thank so you. I'm sorry. I have Thank to you. go there back. Okay. 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 See you. Uh, Chloe and Lily. Oh, I'm sorry. I clicked on uh, on the button when they were they were calling me, so I <laughs> I went out. I, I went to another room, so I didn't say bye, guys. Uh, are you okay working now? Did you get it? More or less. Sort of. Okay. Okay. There you are. Let's try, let's, let's give a try. Okay, I'm going to another room and continue working, okay?
Okay. Uh, do you think you can do uh, letter C? Who said this thing? En la parte de, de la de literal C. No, no, cambiemos eh, para que dejemos el literal B ahorita ustedes y sí, hagan el literal sí. C. I think okay. it will be easier. Uh -huh. I have to clean the house in the cold general. Uh -huh. yo, yo, yo tengo que limpiar la casa y... Uh -huh. Lili e Isaac, el, el Isaac. Three people, right? Remember, Chloe, Lily, clean the house. Have to clean the house. And Isaac has to cook dinner. Cook dinner. Uh -huh. cook dinner. Uh -huh. So they're three, right? Chloe, Lily, and Isaac. Correct. There you are. Number two. What is dishes? Wash the dishes. Lavar los platos. Uh, okay, I have to go to another room. Itan. Itan. Okay. Itan and... Correct. And there you are. Mm -hmm. There you are. Okay, I'm leaving and I'm going to another room, okay? Teacher. Hello. Teacher, tenemos grandes dudas. Nos ha dejado en el olvido, teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. I was I was helping two other groups at this moment, and I think they are having the same troubles. Okay. Trouble. Mm -hmm. Me too. <laughs> okay. Okay. Tell me. Tell me. Uh, excuse me, teacher. Uh, complete the sentence with the correct form of have to. Uh, positive and negative. You could use negative. We haven't done negative yet over here, but uh, con, la, con la estructura de have to and has to, ¿verdad? Pero si ya lo vimos con las estructuras de presente simple. Es exactamente lo mismo using don't have to, okay? And doesn't have to. Doesn't have to. Esos serían los negativos. Exactamente como en el presente simple. Un, Ahora. un ejemplo, sorry que, que abuse, pero... La, no eh, problem, go ahead. The, the number one sentence. Uh -huh. Ethan and Isaac eh, have to, it's plural, have to eh, clean the house. O, oh, perdón, don't clean the house. No, 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 no. Don't have to clean the house. I don't have to clean the house, but... But Claude and Lily have to. Yes, have to. Or have to clean the house. Yes. Oh, but it, oh, more, mm -hmm. more complete. Yes, correct. But it is okay. Uh, but Chloe and Lily have to. Okay. But Chloe and, okay. Chloe and Lily have to. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. 
eh, quiero ver. Ah, excuse me, teacher. Eh, uh -huh. eh, literal sí. Uh -huh. Who say the thing? O sea, perdón, en español. ¿Quién uh -huh. dijo eso? O sea, uh -huh. ¿cómo, ¿cómo poder saber quién dijo eso? O sea, o es algo que nosotros tenemos, podemos deducir. deducir. Exacto, deduzcamos, porque quién, ese who, it's also for plural. Ok, también la palabra who is for plural. Entonces, who said these things? Ah, podríamos decir individualmente, right? I have to clean the house and cook dinner. Who cleans the house? Who cleans the house? Two, two, sister. two sisters. Ok, sería... then it could be Chloe. Chloe and Lily. Chloe, Lily, and who cooks dinner? Isaac. 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 So you could say Chloe, Lily, and Isaac. Ah, okay. 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 Mm -hmm. So three, two brothers is in the in the same adverb. Yes. Well, in this okay. case, we don't say brothers. We say siblings. Ah, okay. siblings. Uh -huh. Because, because some humble. yes, women and men. Okay. Women and yes. Okay. There you are. Okay. <laughs> Entonces, okay, uh -huh. continuaremos, yeah. ya, ya que no okay, sé, hoy sí ya nos ayudó. There you are. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, okay, and okay. I'm going to another room, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, and okay, literal, bueno. literal B. Ok, vamos a revisar esa actividad del día de mañana y el día de ahora vamos a terminar eh, la última página de la unidad 2 en nuestro manual, ok, in our manuals. Let's go to our manuals and it will be page 28, I think it is. Teacher. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, esa actividad, no sé si, si la vamos a seguir realizando mañana o no sé si la podemos terminar siempre en los mismos grupos. La vamos a hacer mañana. No se preocupen que la vamos a hacer mañana y la vamos a revisar, ¿ok? Teacher, excuse me, uh -huh. eh, Paige. I think eh, it is 28. Let me share 20, the menu. 20, 28. 28. Ok. Thank you. Uh -huh. Y ahora vamos solamente a ver lo que nos falta en este, en esta unidad. Ok. En page 28. Siempre con ongoing activities at the workplace. Ok. Act Ongoing activities at the workplace. Do you have events? Do you celebrate events in your workplace? Do you celebrate events in your workplaces? The anniversary. Okay, anniversaries, uh-huh. Birthdays. birthdays, okay, uh-huh, employees' birthdays, right? 
we are always celebrating that. It's very interesting. Uh, do you celebrate a different thing like um, Mother's Day, Father's Day, or maybe the Independence Day? Do you have those celebrations in your jobs? Mother's Day. Okay, good. Now, this is the question, okay? This is the question. We are going to learn how to ask when is that date, okay? Let's see this conversation. Let's see this conversation, okay? Susan and Adele are talking about an activity, okay? What is the activity? The activity is the conference with the Mexican representatives. And the other activity is meeting with the consultant. Okay, now let's read this. Let's read this conversation. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with a consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday, the 26th, okay? It's on Friday, the 26th. Do you see they are saying activities and dates? Activities and specific dates. Let's read it together, okay? I'll activate your audio and Let's read it. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. Monday, Monday November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday the 26th. It is on Friday the 26th. Okay, let's read here. Use ordinal numbers and organize activities by date of event. This is what we are going to do at this moment. Okay, veamos la pregunta que eh, está haciendo en la primera frase que dice Susan. Okay, it says, when is the meeting with a consultant? When is the meeting with a consultant? Y Adele contesta una fecha completa. ¿Qué incluye esa fecha completa? Días, mes, day, day, month, 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 and yeah. date. And. You see, day, month, day, month, and date. Okay. Date. 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 Correct. Now, let's see the other. It says uh, the conference with the Mexican representatives, right? So, how do they say the date? What day. does it include? Day. Day. Day and date. And date. And day and date. Hay diferentes maneras de dar la fecha o de decir la fecha. Esta es una que es la forma completa, ¿ok? La forma completa. La forma completa utilizamos la preposición on, on Monday, November 22nd, ¿ok? Pero si solo decimos el mes, si solo decimos el mes, diríamos in November, in, ¿ok? Pero si decimos completo con el día, decimos on, ¿ok? Ahí cambia un poquito. ¿Se saben? Bueno, por ejemplo, veamos la pair work que tenemos acá. Let's see the pair, la activity that we have here. When is Susan's meeting? When is Susan's meeting? Let's read here. When is Susan's meeting? Oh, Monday. Monday, November, Monday, November, November 22nd. 22nd. Do you think Susan has a busy agenda? Do you think that this agenda is busy? 
meeting with the conference. She has only two activities, right? On November 22nd and the 26th. So I think it's not busy, this agenda, right? Is it busy or isn't it busy? ¿Tiene muchas actividades o tiene pocas actividades para esos días? Is it busy? Is it busy? Yes. It's only two. It's not busy. It's not too busy, right? It's not too busy. Ahora, ¿ustedes se saben los meses del año, chicos? Do you know the months of the year? Okay, let's let's say the months of the year. January. January. February. February. March. 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 April. 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 May. 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 June. 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 July. 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 August. 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 September. September. October. 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 November. November. December. December. Okay, now let's see. Uh, let's say it. But what? December. December. November. November. October. October. September. 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 August. 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 July. 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 June. 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 Oh. May. 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 April. 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 March. 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 February. 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 January. 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 Okay, now let's say the okay. thing about the day. Let's uh, see the thing about the date. Did you see that they say second and 26 with a th at the end? Those are the ordinal numbers. So tomorrow we are going to study that. Mañana vamos a estudiar eso al principio, digamos, en la primera parte de la clase, cómo decir las fechas. Y cómo decir la actividad que está planeada para esa fecha. ¿Ok? Y eso sería para terminar ahora la clase. To finish the class. ¿Ok? Okay, it was supposed that today is Vladimir's turn, but I think he's not here. So does someone, does any one of you want to stay with me for the assessment? Para la asesoría? ¿Alguien quiere ese cupo? Does anyone want a turn? That's an opportunity, guy. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. eh, si nos quedamos, podemos preguntarle de la actividad. Uh, <laughs> sí, sí, aunque mañana la vamos a desarrollar. Una, una pregunta, nada más. <laughs> ok. ¿Tú, ¿Edwin se queda? ¿Quién se queda? ¿Karina se queda? ¿Edwin se queda? Karina, si queda. <risa> no, eso lo quería saber. <risa> Pero si la vamos a hacer mañana, ¿no? No, está okay. bien, está bien. Ok. Entonces, Mejor Karina, si queda o Edwin. I can't. Do you want? Ok. I Then I have no, Karina well, with I, me tonight. I can't. I can't. Oh, so you can't. Ok. Yeah. Ok, then, guys, well. Uh, let me take the attendance because we have only one minute. 
Okay, we have only one minute, so let me go there. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present teacher. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado uh, eh, Vázquez. Ok. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Jonathan Ernesto. I'm sorry. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present. Jose Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Ibeto Rivera. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present. Nancy was there, right? Yeah. Um, Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Okay. And Auri Elena Segovia Rugama. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Viva. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Present. Uh, Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Teacher, no me mencionó. Raquel. Yes. I see Raquel, where you are. Let's see. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Yeah, before Wendy, right? Yes. Let me check you in. There we are. Okay. Okay. Okay, time is up. So class is over, guys. Don't you have any other questions? No questions, okay. Then tomorrow we are having, I think, a review from the whole unit. There we are going to solve some questions if you still have them, okay? So goodbye and have a good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Okay, my Bye, pleasure. Teacher. Goodbye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Okay, dear students, just let me remind you the form of the negative sentences when we want to talk about the obligations. So it's the same when we want to talk about necessity, okay? And let me explain this in this way. Uh, let me go here.
When we are talking about the obligations, we use have, it's a verb, and the other verb is need when we want to talk about necessities. Have for obligations and need for necessities. But when we want to talk about uh, obligations, we have to use have to, have to. And when we want to talk about necessities, we have to use need to, okay? There you are. So let's talk about how to and need to and how to use them. So let's think about an activity that it's an obligation every day, or maybe it's an activity that you, you can't, you can pass over, okay? You need to do that um, because it's an obligation, okay? Because it is an obligation. They uh, gave you that work to do that. That's your function. So we use have to. We use have to. For example, I have to um, decide, decide the colors, okay? For example, we can say you have to call customers, okay? We have to attend meetings. Oh, those are obligations. They have to this to let's say to visit clients. Okay. They have to visit clients. We have to attend meetings. You have to call customers. I have to decide the callers. So now let's think that you are not obligated. I mean, it's not your obligation to do those things. Then how do you express that? So I could say, I don't, because I use a helping verb, as in the present simple, okay? I don't have to decide the colors. This is the negative way to do it. Okay. Now let's see. You don't have to call customers. Uh, let's see. We don't have. to attend meeting. Okay, if it is not an obligation, you can say that. You don't have to attend meeting. Now let's see, they don't they don't have to visit clients. They don't have to visit clients. What if we are talking about your boss, the secretary, or a friend, a coworker, or someone else, or someone else. Okay, then we use, it depends if it is a man, we say he, right? He. And let's remember that for the positive, we have to use the third person. The third person of the verb have. So he has to. Remember that he has to work on the stats. Okay. Now let's see. If it is a woman, she has to um, prepare the documents. There you are. He has to work on the stats. She has to prepare the documents. And for example, if we are talking about an application and it is supposed to do something, uh, an action, and it, it is not working like that, then we could say, we could say, it, for example, let's say an, an app on our phones or an app in the, in, in the 
a company system, then we could say it has to work. It has to work. What? What does it has to work? What? I'm sorry, what does it have to work? Ah, then we are talking about a system, a thing, a thing, okay? Now, what will be the negative form for saying the third person? Ah, we use doesn't, right? To say not to. So it will be he doesn't. Pero como es la tercera persona, because it's the third person, okay, we use doesn't to make, to make the verb in the third person. And we use exactly the verb in the infinitive form. So it will be, he doesn't have to work, okay? He doesn't have to work on this step. Do you see? She doesn't have to prepare the document. Okay? There you are. The negative, the, the affirmative and the negative way to talk about obligation to talk about obligations. Now, this is the other example. Let's make it negative and it will be eat. I'm sorry. Eat. It doesn't have to work. It doesn't have to work. So this is the way, affirmative for plural, negative for plural, and for the first person, I, okay? I and you, singular, you, plural, we and they, plural. We use, don't have to. We use, don't have to. Right, this over here. And for the third person, if you see down there, it says doesn't have, okay? There you are. But for affirmative, affirmative will be have to, and for the third person is has to, okay? Has to. So what is the difference with the verb need? What is the difference with the verb need? Well, it's talking about a necessity, and then we use need to. Uh, to transform, to transform this into a necessity, okay, to transform this into a necessity, depending on the situation you are going to use have to or need to, okay? Let's say, there you are, I need, to decide the colors. It's the same for you, we, and they need, need to, need to, okay? I'm going to change this for the verb need, okay? Need to. What happened with the negative? What happened? with the negative if we are talking about necessity. Okay, then we use the verb need to. 
Okay. If you see, I don't need to decide the colors. You don't need to call customers, okay? This is uh, the way to talk about things that are not our necessity, that it is not a necessity. What happened with the third person? Ah, uh, then we use a letter S at the end of the verb need. So it will be, he needs to work. He needs to work on this task, okay? She needs to prepare the documents, okay? It needs to work. Now, this is the third person and affirmative. So now let's think about the third person in the negative form. It will be, he doesn't what? Neither needs. Need. Need. Why? Because we have doesn't that makes this verb third person. Okay? He doesn't need to work on the steps. He doesn't, she doesn't need to prepare the documents. It doesn't need to work, okay? This is when we talk about necessity, using need to, using need to, okay? If you have a question, please, you can contact me through the chat on WhatsApp, okay? You see how to and need to, have to for obligation, need to for necessity. Don't have to, doesn't have to. So let's write about need. It will be Don't need to and doesn't need to. Okay. And for the positive will be need to and the third person it it is um, needs to. There you are. Okay. Okay, guys, let's meet us tomorrow. We are going to review all the unit two topics tomorrow. And remember that you have to complete your homework on the platform. And also you have to submit your meet term test okay meet term test so we need we need to submit it tomorrow okay so let's let's meet us tomorrow time is up class is over guys bye bye